Hey y'all, I'm Elisa and I am the scrappy wife behind scrappywife.com and today I have a mixed media journaling process for you. I'm going to be working in my December daily album and I am documenting this picture of a piece of pizza from a day that went really poorly a couple of weeks ago. And I think for December daily, one of the important things is to document the good as well as the bad. So I'm going to document this picture and I'm going to do so with some different elements, some oxide spray, oxide ink, some metallic watercolors, and this cut file that I got from the Silhouette shop. So I will put you on fast forward and we'll see how it goes. I am working on top of watercolor paper and I'm prepping my surface here with just a little bit of water spray and I'm adding some of that Distress Oxide spray that's in the peeled paint color and I'm going to use some shades of green so I'm coming back in with some different shades of watercolor and I just want it to mix and kind of blend and create kind of a unique green background. Green is not one of those colors that I use very often and so it's a little bit challenging for me in the Christmas season but I'm trying to embrace it a little bit here. Mixing in just a lot of different shades just to kind of change it up. I know it looks crazy right now but most of it ends up covered up by that large cut file so it's not going to be too much in the end. I decide I want to add a little bit of texture so I have this stencil from Tim Holtz it's kind of a buffalo plaid look and I'm using some silver paint this is actually from Target it's part of their handmade modern collection I'll link it below if I can find it but I think I just picked it up last spring at some point in the store and I'm just gently using my finger to kind of rub it through the stencil I'm not really worried about a clean impression but you can see I get a pretty cool textured feeling there in the background and I'm actually really pleased so I dry it and then I'm going to put some on the other side here I kind of want to match it up but it's kind of a little tricky to make sure it's matching up with the stencil that's already there so truthfully the two sides don't touch but again that's okay most of this background gets covered up by that cut file but it is fun to play with mixed media and to be out of the pocket card um, process that is the rest of my December daily so I got to have fun with some paints and supplies and yet still be working on my December daily album when you're working with mixed media it's really important to make sure everything is really dry between layers if you keep it wet and then add another layer things tend to mix and get mushed together so it's hard for me because I'm not patient but I'm drying between layers next I'm coming in with a dilution shimmer spray and I'm just very gently putting this on as you can see and I wanted it to puddle up because I'm adding water over the top and I'm gonna let these kind of run you'll see my head coming in here I'm blowing at those little puddles of color because I wanted a different texture than a regular spray. I kind of wanted the color to pool up and then drip and run and just make some neat effects. I'll come in with a paper towel. When you have a lot of excess, you can just use the very corner of a paper towel to gently blot it up. I didn't want the texture of the paper towel to come in onto the page, so I was real gentle about how I picked it up. And then, of course, I will come in and dry it before I continue adding more and more layers to this background. Now you know me, I can hardly have a page without metallic on it. And I already have that metallic silver, but I'm gonna come back with these metallic watercolors. I love these and my favorite way to use them is adding splatters all around. So I get my water brush and then I'll go into that gold, get it nice and wet. Sometimes metallic ones take a little bit more mixing and I'm just going to put gold splatters just all over. I really wanted it to be kind of a bigger splatter, bigger drops. So the more water you use, the bigger the splatters will end up. Again, back to making sure it's really dry. I'm checking to see how my silhouette cut file might fit over the top. And especially when you're doing splatters, those tend to be bigger droplets. And so it does take a while for those to dry. This is a stencil from Illustrated Faith. It came with one of their devotional kits a few months back, and I'm using this Distress Oxide Ink and Fired Brick in red and green. It is not a normal combination for me, but of course for Christmas, very appropriate. And I'm just adding some of these numbers, this number motif in the background. I like the idea because it's December daily, there's numbers all over this album. So I like the fact that there will be numbers incorporated on this page, but not necessarily the number of the day, not necessarily the date, but just kind of some numbers in the background. I'm using my mini ink 
blending tool just to add that on. Now that I have my page finished, I'm gonna cut it down to a six by eight. The reason I didn't do this in the beginning is because I wanted some more room to work and I knew I wanted the image to be going off the page, if that makes sense. All of the background, I wanted to just kind of keep going and not be limited to the six by eight. So I like working on the larger sheet and then cutting it down. And you can see this is where my silhouette image will be moving that out of the way. I'm looking at my page and deciding that I really think it needs a little bit more along the edges, not too much, just a little bit. So I'll come back in with more of the gold metallics and add some sprays just along the corners. You can see the splatters right here on the upper left. And I just want a little bit just to break up that white just a little bit more in the middle because I always love some gold. And that to me just kind of completes the page. I like it there on the corners to frame it in. Once again, drying between every layer and then I will come back in and add some glue. I'm actually out of my normal Tombow adhesive. So I'm gonna use just some Elmer's glue to kind of cover the back of this cut file and place it down on the page. The reason it's a train is because the day I'm documenting was a terrible day. It was just one where I could, the stress just got to me, the stress of the holiday season, all the responsibilities and things on the to-do list just got to me. I was in a terrible mood. And so this train is going to be the hot mess express because that's what I was on this particular day. So I position it right in the middle and then I'm going to put my title around it. Hot mess express. I think we've all had that feeling over the holidays where it's just too much. And I was short with my kids. I cried at a pizza parlor, hence the pizza um, picture and everything was just kind of a mess and at the end of the day I was just thankful that we made it to the end of the day and that I would get another shot at um, pulling myself together the next day and the next day was much better I just think it's important to remember that the holidays aren't always perfect and a lot of people have a hard time during the holidays and normally I absolutely love them and this was just one of those times where the stress got to me. So I wanted to document that and just have that as a memory that not everything goes perfect, but there are always silver linings to be had. And um, one for this was that my kids, even though I was a bit of a hot mess, they were very sweet and trying to cheer me up. So that was um, just a nice little moment to remember as well, kind of the silver lining for what this hot mess was. So you can see for the title, I went with a mixture of alphas from my stash in red, black, and white. And then I am outlining the red and white ones in black just so that they pop off a little bit more. Some of these red ones from Bella Boulevard are a little bit old, so I'm having trouble making sure they stick. So I'll probably need to go back down and add some glue to the back just to make sure that they will kind of stand the test of time, but adding that black outline, just to make sure they pop off the page and the front of this page is done. And now I'm going to go to the back and work on adding the actual story of what happened that day. I added so much to the front that I think the back is going to be pretty simple. So I'm just going to take my pizza picture and mount it on some of this kind of sage green paper, trim it out just for a little touch of color around it. I am enjoying printing out my pictures in black and white. It's making it a lot easier for me to kind of work through with these colors, with the Christmas colors all the way through the album. Black and white really allows my pictures to work with all of the supplies that I have. So that is down. And then I'm gonna grab these Felicity Jane photo corners that came as part of the Noel kit. And I will use those. I'll add just a little bit of glue to each corner and I'm gonna add red photo corners just to bring in a little bit more of that Christmas feel and just add a little bit of detail to the back. Again, I don't want it to be very busy because the front is so busy and I have a lot of space up top where I'm going to be putting my story of what happened that day. You can see in this case, I had a lot to say about the story for that day. So I did go ahead and type it out. Normally I don't mind writing it out, but I knew I wouldn't be able to fit it with just my handwriting. So I'm adhering that at the top and then I'm gonna come in with those same alpha stickers that I used on the front just to bring those two together. And I'm going to add the title of the story. And on the back, I end up just outlining um, the white ones in black. And truthfully, I'm not sure why I didn't do the red ones in black also. It's just how it ended up. So I really like that the alphas are mixed up and kind of a mess. The whole idea of using mixed media on this page was that the day was a mess and mixed media is often very messy. 
Once I finish the outlining, then this page will be done. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as that bell notification button. All the supplies I use are linked below. Many of those are affiliate links. Just a heads up, it goes a long way to supporting this channel. I hope you have a fantastic day and as always, keep it creative.